it's Fat Gillis here, and I don't even know how to start this video, to be honest with you, because it's been so long. It's, uh, I apologize, first of all. It's, it's been, um, we've been, like, really busy, but honestly, that's not a good excuse. Like, even though we've been busy, which is a really good thing, um, we've been trying to, what's that expression, make hay while the sun shines is the old, uh, turn of phrase, I guess, but, you know, like, the summer is a really busy time for us, and, in the spring, we were gearing up for the summer, and then the first month of September is crazy busy because all the kids are coming back for the fall session. And so, excuse, excuse, excuse. I remember <laughs> years ago reading an article um, about Jerry Seinfeld, the comedian, and um, he said something about, I think the interviewer asked him, you know, how do you consistently produce material? Like, how do you write every single day? Because apparently that's what he, he did at that time, at least. And uh, how, how do you keep up the discipline of it? And he said, well, he says, what you do is you write every single day or do the task every single day. And then and every time you do it, you put a, like a, a little X through the uh, day on the calendar. He says, and after a few days, you've got a whole bunch of these Xs and then you just don't want to break the chain. And I thought, wow, that's like, it's really good because I find it's kind of like that with everything. Like if I, you know, um, like I remember when I first started doing yoga, I would always, you know, write it on the calendar and I, and after I'd done it for three or four days, I didn't want to break the chain, right? So I would keep doing it. Anything I've ever Anything done like, like that, really, um, that kind of requires a bit of dis discipline or initiative to get going or whatever. But I guess what I'm saying is I broke the chain. <laughs> you know, this spring, um, I, I forget, really, I don't even remember what happened where I missed a couple of weeks. And then all of a sudden, I, I, it was just like Jerry says, like like Mr. Seinfeld says, it became, you know, okay, you know what, I'll do it tomorrow because I've already missed a week now. So I'll, I'll do it next week for sure. And then next week I come and here it is, like, I guess, you know, I don't know how many weeks later, you know, which is absolutely insane. Um, a little update, uh, the horses have been great. Um, that family of horses that we had that came from away. <laughs> they're, they're now in the school, pretty much. They're, they're being ridden mostly just by advanced students or whatever, but they're actually rideable now, which is great. Um, we had a, a few sad bits. We lost um, Daisy, the little pony. Uh, we had to have her put to sleep because she was just, uh, she'd gotten to the point where she couldn't bend her knees anymore for the blacksmith to your feet. And, uh, and then she had a little bit of a fall one day. She, her arthritis was so bad in her knee. Um, both front knees, really, that uh, I think she was, by the end, I, I felt not too badly about it because I think she was very uncomfortable as well. So that was sad. Um, more heart-wrenching was uh, the last week of September, we lost Chloe, one of our, really, one of our very best school horses. Um, so I always say I never buy uh, thoroughbreds for the school anymore, but they're still my favorite breed. And boy, when you get a good one like her, um, they're just... They're just astonishingly amazing. She was a great horse. She could use her for beginners. She wasn't really big on being led around. She didn't like that too much, but she'd put up with it. She was great for, you know, novice riders, intermediate riders, advanced riders. She was just a lovely thing, and uh, she colicked, and a really nasty one. And, uh, you know, we spent the day trying to get it right, and finally, you know, by 3 in the afternoon, we had to let her go. It was, it was such a shock and so awful. Um, so, you know, life's funny. Eh? Like, you never count on anything except the fact that horses will break your heart all the time. <laughs> but they're worth it. Anyway, so back to my apology here. I do, I am really sorry. We're going to, things are, exciting things are coming down the pike for our riding school and for the our digital side as well, hopefully. And so hopefully I'm going to stay on track with this now and um, I'm not going to break the chain. That's what I, <laughs> I'm going to try to not break the chain. So I do apologize. And thanks again to everybody who reached out to wonder if we were okay. We're okay. It's just been, um, I broke the chain. <laughs> okay. Anyway, thank you so much. And I will talk to you next week. And remember to thank your horse and we'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.